one of our parishioners coming into Mass said to me, Father, don't forget early bird. I said, I'm not going to early bird. He said, no, but I am. (laughs) The word of God is so powerful and so meaningful and so life-giving in your life and in my life. And as we celebrate St. John Lateran in Rome, we are reminded of that amazing reality that we are the living body of Christ, the church. That's the confidence. That's the love. That's the commitment that Jesus has in you and in me. Not because we're perfect, because we know we're not, but because he has chosen each one of us to be his living body in a world that hungers for what is life all about? What's its purpose? Why are we here? And we listen to Jesus. And over and over and over he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Our lives as the people of God, as the people of faith, are a mystery in many different ways. And our God is a mystery, but not a mystery to be solved, but a mystery to live in gratitude and in love. In the 80s, I was in ministry with a deacon, and he gave me a prayer, and he said, say it before you prepare every homily. And I have said it every day since then. Before preparing homilies, before celebrating Mass, and I try to live that prayer. And part of that prayer is, Lord, give me the insight to understand your message. Give me the humility to accept its mystery. And give me the wisdom to apply it here and now. To understand God's message. To accept in humility that it is a mystery. And to apply it here and now. And as the body of church, the Christ, he has chosen us. He has gifted us for others. And he depends on us to put flesh and blood on his good news. And we depend on Jesus, and he is forever faithful. There's a story told that when Jesus ascended into heaven, the angels asked him, Lord, who's going to continue your gospel? Who's going to continue living your good news? And Jesus answered, my church. And the angel said to him, well, Lord, what if they fail? What other plan do you have? And he said to the angels, I have no other plan. In other words, he guarantees us as the church, even though we are human, even though we are weak at times, he guarantees us in the power of the Holy Spirit that we will not fail. What confidence Jesus has in you and in me. Our God just reminded us through St. Paul, you are the building. You are the temple of God. And his Holy Spirit dwells in you. And that's the Father's faithful promise that we won't fail because the Holy Spirit dwells in us. We are the living body of Christ. Jesus said to the people, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. And they said, it took years and years to build this temple. How can you raise it up? And as the gospel told us, Jesus was speaking about the temple of his body. And then it goes on to tell us, when Jesus rose from the dead, 
the disciples came to believe the scriptures in the word that Jesus had spoken. That's part of the mystery that we live. We live the good news. And the disciples were in the process of starting to believe. Even though they had seen Jesus risen from the dead, they were starting to believe in the scriptures and in his word. And it's the same process for you and for me. It is the rest of our life that we understand and live the scriptures and the word of God. The church, the living body of Christ. Pope Francis said, as the church, the gospel is a joy ever new and a joy always to be shared. And that's our life as the people of God in gratitude to share with one another the many, many blessings that God has given to each one of us. Pope Francis went on to say, the church is called to be the house of the Father where the doors are wide open to welcome everyone. That's our God. To welcome everyone because everyone belongs to him. Everyone is a beloved daughter, a son of God the Father. Last Friday, I met the deacon who designed the renovations in our church here, and I thanked him for his talent and for doing such a wonderful job in this church. And I thank God for him. And this church is a sacred place, but it's brick and mortar. It is you and I that make this church come alive. It is you and I that have been chosen and gifted by God to be his living body in the church. As the church, many though we are, and we are millions throughout the world, many though we are, we are one in Christ, and we never stand alone. That's the mystery of the living body of Christ. We are many, but we are united in Jesus and we never stand alone. We walk with each other. We share each other's joys and bear each other's burdens, as Vatican II reminds us. How blessed, how gifted, how loved we are by our God, the God of abundance. Yes, God is a mystery, but he is a total reality in your life and in mine. And the faithful promise of Jesus, every single day, I am always with you. That is the mystery we live. That is the Jesus that we share with one another. And once again, here we are to celebrate Eucharist and to give thanks for so much, so often, so generously given to each one of us by our loving God.